Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Legacy video. Yes, guys, another Legacy video. Guys, today we are going to be playing Yen Mega Magnazone. And this may or may not be the last Legacy video for a while. Um, because, of course, Rebel Clash is coming out tomorrow. But yes, because Rebel Clash is coming out tomorrow, this probably will be the last Legacy video for quite a while. Because the Rebel Clash hype will be out. But once the Rebel Clash hype dies down and we're waiting for the next set... I will return to the legacy content and maybe i'll do a random legacy video here or there we'll see but today's video guys is going to be on the yen mega magnazone deck of course this deck is pretty good because this was once one of the best decks in the format at the time of the hgss on format i think it was before we had the introduction of noble victories or it was next destinies this deck was very very powerful the whole idea is you use the Omega Prime, uh, which has the Poke Body Insight, which if you have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent, this attack can this Pokemon can attack for free, which is really good. You never need to build it up. Um, and of course, we have cards like Judge and Copycat to match the opponent's hand size, which is perfect. And we have Magnezone Prime with Magnetic Draw that can also help us reach hand sizes. And we have Lost Burn coming in at the end of the game to sweep up the last prizes. That's kind of how this deck plays. So for the video, guys, of course, to our sponsor, Karkam and TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PSGO pack codes, guys, get them over at Karkam and TCG. Of course, if you have any singles or codes you do not want to use, you trade them into Karkam and TCG for some cash or in-store credit. Also, at Karkam and TCG, guys, if you are looking for Rebel Clash codes, and when they do go in stock at Karkam, guys, make sure to get your Rebel Clash codes over there. If they're not in stock just yet when you're watching this video, you can actually get email notified when they do come in stock, and then you can pick up Rebel Clash codes at Karkam and TCG. Um, and they'll, they'll have the theme deck codes in stock, hopefully. They'll have the pre-release kits and code, or stocks and code, yeah, and stocks, sorry, I can't talk today. Um, but yeah, if you get anything for Karkam, guys, you can use my discount code code LDF at the checkout for a 5% discount on your purchase, guys. Supports the channel, helps yourself out. And helps our car camera TCG. So yeah, shout out to Car Camera, check them out. Use code LDF. So let's take a look at this list. So this is a very fun deck to play. Um yeah, Mega Prime is a very powerful card because the fact that it's a it can attack for free pretty much is really, really good. Um and again, the best part is gonna be Magnezone Prime here. Uh, now this deck is not a cheap deck. A lot of legacy decks I've been uploading other than like the truth and uh I guess the uh Victini Valplum deck. These decks these decks are not cheap to build. Um but this deck is also not very cheap to build. Uh, Magnezone Prime is a little, not it's not insanely expensive. I think it's somewhere around like eight or 10 packs. Uh, yeah, Mega Prime is also like around seven to six packs. So they're on the more, they're not on the most expensive primes, but they're somewhere near, maybe near the middle of the most expensive primes. The most expensive are gonna be Celebi and Gengar Prime and Mew Prime. But these primes are also, they're in like maybe the, they're in the higher end of the cheaper side is I guess the best way to put it. Um, but this deck is very fun and once again back in the day i think it was the world's 2011 format or maybe it was like after world's 2011 this deck was like one of the best decks in the format it was going to be the magnezone prime yeah mega deck yeah mega used to be really really good back in the day and also magnezone is really good too but we had to update this deck with legacy cards and there's actually quite a few good legacy things to play i like having mr mime in here to protect your bench from taking damage i like the execute this thing is so clutch the amount of times this card actually helped me in this video was nuts because propagation may be really good for like you know the discard but it's actually better to put this in your hand for yen mega's a, a build a pokey body um so that's like one of the good things about execute is you put it in your hand and it actually sometimes that one extra card makes it so you can use your um attack for free so that's why the execute is in here um i honestly might even consider playing two it was just that good of a card um the Yam is really good with that free flight ability, giving you a free retreat cost. Yamega Prime is arguably my favorite Prime Pokemon. Um, and I, I really want to do a video on this card, so this is why I'm doing it. Um, but yeah, Yamega Prime and the Yamas are really good. I almost have four reversal Yamas from these Triumphant Packs I opened up. Um, there's no other Pokemon in here. You don't really need any other attackers. Uh, any other attackers you would play, honestly, just go up to a fourth Yamega. That's about it. Um, let's go into the items now. Computer search, of course. We got three lasers. I, I see how comments someone was like complaining about the lasers, bro. Laser Verbank is the best combination in Legacy. Laser is one of the best cards in Legacy. So that's why I always try to put this in all my decks because it is just such a good card. It, dude, Laser, you can use it against Smeargle so they can't do their portrait. You can use it for the extra damage output. This is really why it's here is for Verbank Laser. It can help with Magnezone Prime so you don't think it lost burn as much energy. Um, so that's why it's there. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about Magnezone. Yeah, Magnezone's Lost Burn attack. Uh, you do have to put the energy in the Lost Zone, which is not good because you can't get those back. But, 
you can do 50 for each one. So if you have three energy on this thing, you just do 150 damage with a bangle. You can do 180, which will knock out most EXs, or you can use a hypnotic laser for bank combo. But it's really just here for the damage output for Yamega, because it lets Yamega two shot a lot easier. That's why the Verbank laser combos there. I'm only playing one Verbank though, because you don't really need it that much. The laser is fine by its own. Even doing 80 damage is fine for Yamega. Uh, but the Verbank is there. A lot of people also play Verbank, so they can bump your stadium. Um, Another card I like is Max Potion. Being able to fully heal your Yamega is insanely clutch if they can ever one-shot it. Um, but yeah, most of the time we're just going to be spamming Judge and Copycat here because we can get our hand perfect to my opponents. And also the Judge spam can be very hard for your opponent to deal with because Judge only gives them four cards. And if they just get a bad hand with this, with a Judge, I mean, sometimes they're just out of the game. So that's why the Judge is really good. Uh, other than that, this is the deck list I got here. Very good deck. I have seven Lightning for Magnezone. Uh, I just have that extra one lightning just for that extra 10 or extra 50 or retreat if we ever need it. But having that is good. And maybe go up to eight energy if you want. The more energy, the merrier. But that's about it for the list. Let's go try it out on PCGO. All right, guys, we're going to do another uh, another game. We're going to do our first match. We're up against it looks like a Garchomp deck, a Fluffy Chomp deck. So this is definitely going to be an interesting match for sure. Fluffy Chomp is not a bad matchup for this deck, actually. It might be tough, though. We'll see. Um, I guess Garchomp could one shot us. We'll have to see how this goes. We do get a double Yanma start with a laser. Okay, so if they only play the 50 HP Gibble, we can knock them out. We can also snipe their Swablus possibly, which could be pretty good. Okay, they do get a Gibble. So if we laser this guy now, we can possibly knock him out with Yan Mega next turn. But I don't think we need to do that. I think we're going to level ball for Execute. Actually, I shouldn't have done that because now I don't know what I want to do. Yeah, why did I do that? I just realized. <laughs> All right, let's just pass. I didn't mean to level ball actually. We can't be, I was going to use it because we have the Ultra Ball for Yamega, but I don't want to grab Yamega here because my opponent's most likely going to, I don't know. There's no, and they do end me. Damn it. Why did I play that level ball? That was so silly. Unfortunately, they'd have the end, which is kind of frustrating. I was hoping they wouldn't, but we got, we got our, we got goodies. We have five cards in their hand, which is actually pretty easy to play around. So we will get a knockout on their Gibble here. Hopefully, as long as we, we just need literally one card off this Professor Oak's new theory. And I'm actually going to gamble for it. I'm going to gamble that we will get at least one thing off this oak that we can play from our hand. If we don't, I'm going to cry. There we go. We got a Yemma. Nice. We have Rare Candy, so we can get Magnezone next turn. That'd be good. So we'll just Sonic Boom, knock them out. And yeah, pretty much we just got to avoid Garchomp's second attack with one Altarian play that can kill me. Uh, I think we're just going to have to go for another pawn unless we can draw a Magnezone off our top deck. But what we basically want to do is just spam Yamega until we get a bunch of Magnezones ready to go. And then Magnezone's Laws Burn attack and finish the game off. Pretty simple stuff. Though this deck doesn't really, I think this deck plays better against those EX heavy decks. More, not really, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't really do good well against these stage two decks. But my opponent's having a rough start here. This is one of the things I like about this deck. It is pretty aggressive when you go second and you get that turn two Yamega. So we can Sonic Boom, we can laser them if we wanted to, which I think I will do. So they'll have, what, four cards in their hand, maybe three, depending on what they do. That might be a little tough to actually navigate. Okay, they have three cards. So we need to play our hand down to three here, which we can't do currently. I lied. We actually can play our hand down to th three. Yeah, we can. And we don't even need to play a supporter, though I would actually like to get a supporter here, but... Or, sorry, another Yamega. I'm just going to go for the Sonic Boom. Might as well hit them for 70. Could go Magnezone, but we have everything we need. We can Super Rod next turn. We can, we can do a lot. Yeah, they just concede. See, this deck is really aggressive. That was a really fast match, but... That's like, that's kind of the state of this deck. We have 50 coins. The double, the double rewards thing is still going on, right? I'm pretty sure it lasts until like May or something. And it's not May yet. So hoping the double rewards. We actually have a chest to open up here. We're getting a ton of coins. We can buy a pack from the shop. Ooh, I don't know. Should I? We're making legacy content. I'll, I'll wait to buy a pack from the shop. I'll open up this chest that I have. I'll wait to buy a pack from the shop. How many chests? Just one. So we don't put this random chest. Yeah, I'll wait to buy a pack from the shop because there's no need to. We get a chip chip ice axe. The band card. The car. Is this rotating? I think it is. No, it's not. It's from a broken bombs. All right. Well, there you go. Very fast first game. Sometimes that's the state of Yamega. Yamega is just such a good card that stuff like that will happen. So yeah, I'll see you guys in another match with the deck. All right, guys. So I've been trying to find a game for like the past 20 minutes. And all the games I'm finding are like ending really quickly. My opponents, I'm either winning really quick or my opponents conceding before I even like play my turn out fully and i'm already on a 10 win streak and i'm already on the second page of the ladder like this is actually ridiculous bro legacy like it's not a bad ladder grinding format if you play a really good legacy deck you can very easily grind the ladder in this format you might run into people genting which is where they will 
if they win the coin flip they'll spam emotes which means they want you to concede don't do that you can get banned for that i think i just hit my mic i apologize anyways we're up against i don't even know at this point again i've it's taken a while to find games too and i'm playing against bots which modified theme deck so i'm gonna go first i always want to go first this deck to get that turn to yet mega it's risky but it pays off when it works we get a magnemite start our hand's actually pretty bad i guess we could like buy a turn with like metal sound okay we got a judge top deck that helps a little bit we'll see if we get donked here i pray we don't i want to keep my win streak alive not only that i also want to play a game um i didn't think this video would be this hard to record but legacy is just being weird today like i already have a i have a 10 win streak with this deck I, like i don't even know what to say okay looks like playing a napoleon dustmore deck um we'll do this we can judge them now uh there's no harm in doing that we judge him now we can break them out of the game okay there's the Yamma. we have another judge we didn't get a magnezone or an ultra ball which is what i was hoping for but that's fine let's give him the old metal sound for nothing <laughs> whatever it is what it is we have another judge coming their way i'm really glad i pulled these versatile judges in my what was it the dragonite video i did makes it makes my deck a little bit more blinged out yeah, there's a collector so we'll see if this is going to be a flygon deck or if it's going to be a empoleon deck i think the flygon deck would be a lot harder to beat i think empoleon okay so it is an empoleon deck so empoleon's fine of course magnezone prime can take out empoleon fairly easily the only problem is is we have to burn our energy to do so so we have to be a little careful here this matchup could be tough if we're not careful it does suck we had to start with magneton not yemma it's one of the nice things about this deck is yemma is such a good starter because of its ability our pokey power free flight Okay, can we draw Yamega or Magnezone? No, we get a rare candy. All right, we're going to judge him again. Um, I hate to burn these judges. Oh, we don't get anything good. You hate to see it. Can't find our Magnezones, unfortunately. I'm just going to pass. Don't want to bench anything. Don't want to fuel Empoleon's attack any more than we have to. This is not good. This is not good. Yeah, they already got a rare candy Empoleon. Our judges are doing nothing to them, and now our judges will do nothing because Diving Draw. Their hands also might be massive, so we kind of needed to save the judges for when their hands get really big. So this kind of sucks. Oh, they're setting up in everything, and our hand is just brutally bad. I also don't want to I don't want to lose my Magneton either because we need Magnezone. We also need a attacker for these Empoleons. This is just a terrible start, and this is not good. We need to find our switch. Okay, can they kill me here? I think they are 10 damage short we can uh, actually confuse them which isn't even that bad to be honest yeah we have 10 hp left they can they can knock out my yama here if we don't evolve it it's not the copycat and hope for the best okay we got a yamega which is good we did get our magnezone prime we're gonna have to ditch the rare candy and stuff we want to try to attack him this turn if it's possible I guess we gotta say bye to this yam man. So we'll just do that and draw six. We can knock them out here actually, which I think we should just go for actually instead. We do get a knockout, nice. We have an Ultra Ball two. That can get us another Magnezone. They might just knock it out though. I think we just take the KO here with Lost Burn. We have to give our two energies up. It's kind of the awkward thing with Magnezone is you have to lose a lot of energy, but we get to knock out their Empoleon and make him find another one with a five card hand. And they'll probably find it. They, ah, oh, they, they actually got it yo what unless they don't really care for the pip up i'm actually surprised they have another rare candy empoleon here that's kind of impressive okay they have a skyla so the problem is too they can also sinister hand my yam uh, i had to bench it though just just to bench it so we can get the damage off our magnezone we really need to get the switch to move this magnezone out of the active spot if it's prized that's going to be a little awkward so they can just constantly hit me and move the damage counters around so this is kind of awkward We'll see if they get an energy here though they can get x they can get a, they get like what three extra cards because they can take a prize and they can draw two cards with diving draw i think this matchup is good but our uh position we're in is not very good because we had to start with a magnum i mean we should just retreat it i don't know maybe evolving in the magneton was the wrong move Ooh, they actually looks like they're going for the knockout which is smart but not smart because we do lose our magnezone i'm gonna i'm gonna play a little super rod though but they actually don't knock on my Yenma, which I think is really good for us. We drew a level ball. That can get us back Yenma. We can just end them here. So 
let's go super rod. I want to get back my Magnezone and stuff. We can Ultra Ball. We can probably get rid of the Verbank. We don't really need it in this matchup. Get another Magnemite in play. Oh, we should actually maybe should have gotten another Yamega. Yeah, actually, that should have been what we should have got. We'll just end them to five and then attack them with Sonic Boom. Though I wish I could play my hand down, but we don't have another Magnezone right now. So we just two shot them. They could play Max Potion, which is what I am kind of worried about here. Max Potion does make this matchup a little bit more trickier because they can just fully heal the Empoleon. But yeah, as long as we control our bench size, Empoleon cannot one-shot my Yamega. We have our own Max Potion too, which could punish them. So we might want to use our Junk Arms for our Max Potion, assuming we can find it. So yeah, my opponent definitely, they got a bit of a good start. That's one of the nice things I like about this deck is you can control your their, the opponent's start sometimes by just playing very aggressive with Yamega. And Magnezone, unfortunately, we can't do that because we had to start with Magnemite. I probably should have retreated the whole time though. Instead, just staying the active. Metal Sound was pointless, but again, I wanted to get Megazone Prime in play to attack. So, to be fair, it kind of worked out in the end. It didn't let us play as aggressive as we wanted to, but I guess starting with Megazone was fine because it still let us take a KO and stuff, which is still good. But we did have to bin two Lightning Energies here. Honestly, any change I would make to this deck would be just play more Lightning Energy. It's a really good card for Magnezone, but it is what it is. So there's a Primplup. It's a big card. They're going to have another Empoleon. So let's see if they get a Max Potion here. I don't think they knock me out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, so they're only doing 80 damage here. So they can't kill me. But we do want a Max Potion. If we can spam Max Potion, like that's going to be really good for us. Hopefully we can draw a uh, Magnezone 2. So we can go Rare Candy into Magnezone with Junk Arm. I think, I think Max Potion is going to be kind of our ace in the hole in this matchup that's going to be how we try to win the game a lot easier let's see what we draw drew a laser it's a good discard bait what do i junk arm for though like, what do i need could get back the level ball to get magneton in play sure we'll ditch the energy just call it a day I don't know. We do need to build them another Magnezone, though, but they have the option to easily target it. Do we have Max Potion in the deck? We do. It is there. Uh, I don't know if we're going to draw it, though. That's that's my issue. I don't think we're going to draw the Max Potion. We do find it. But it means Yen Mega cannot attack. So this, is, this is the awkward thing about this deck. So if we retreat, we don't lose two Yen Megas. Yeah, this is, this is kind of tricky. We can knock them out though, which is good, but they have another Pimple. Plus we just gave them a new hand with N. Maybe we should have left their hand how it was. Maybe they don't find Empoleon here. They haven't played us, they played two Ultra Balls. Maybe, okay, so, well, we'll see if they have it. They probably do. They are down to Empoleon, so. We got another Magnemite, which I like. And here's the Sinister Hand. Yeah, if they knock out my Magneton, that makes things awkward. Because without Magnezone, we can't one-shot them. So we might have to try to get two Magnemites in play. I wish we had Execute right now, too. So we don't have to lose as many cards with our computer search. Maybe they don't knock out my Magneton, though. Knocking out Magneton makes it harder for them to one-shot Yamega Mega 2. Yeah, they take out my Magneton. They don't want me to get another Magnezone in play, which is fair play to them. We, honestly, we just need to find Max Potion, and things can go really well for us with, when we find it. So they have, they're down two, oh, they're only down one? Oh, I thought they were down two. I guess, did they super brought it back? I didn't, wasn't paying attention. Oh, they did. The super brought in the discard. And they have an Ultra Ball anyway, so they have the other Empoleon. I still think we can win this. Max Potion, I think, is going to be super clutch. There's a random receiver for a chorus. That's not an N. That's good. We need to get ourselves a... Uh, we need to get a secret random receiver. I don't even have one. Though I don't really like playing it, honestly. It's not that good of a card, in my opinion. But it is what it is. Okay, they have a Junk Arm. So that will get the Ultra Ball back. They have to get rid of an N, I think. Yeah, that's a good discard for us. N could be problematic when we don't get Magnezone to play. They are going to get Super Rod. So what we're going to try to do here is we're going to Max Potion with this Computer Search. And we're going to bench the Magnemite. Try to get another Magnezone in play. And then go from there. 
it is going to be hard to rival their hand size. So I want to take a knockout by playing Professor Oak instead of playing my Judge or Copycat. We need to save those because if at any point my opponent gets a big hand with all the diving draws they can do, it'll get a little hairy. Can they KO my Yanmega? 20, 30, 60, 80, 100, 121. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, they're, they do have a knockout. Do they? Yeah, they do. They're doing 90 damage with Sinister Hand. They can take out my Yamega. That's actually pretty bad. Okay, we might actually have to take a Judge Knockout this turn. Just because their hand is already huge. Yeah, they do have a knockout here. That's a rip. We need to get Super Rod 2 or something. I wish I played a 4-4 Yamega line instead of just a 4-3. But it lets you play more cards, which I think is good. So yeah, they do have a KO here, which is kind of tough to deal with. We can't kill them in return, so we actually don't need to play the comp search then. And we can actually bench Magnemite and try to get Magnemite to play, which is actually nice. But I do want to get Super Odd, though. We could go for a copycat, which seems good. Okay, they're playing their hand down with Computer Search. They might have another Rare Candy Empoleon here, which is, I'm assuming, what they got with that. Yep. This is going to be a close game, guys. I can already tell. This is going to be a very, very, very close match. Again, I think the one saving grace we might have is Max Potion. As long as we just play around getting one shot by Empoleon, we should be okay. But yeah, I think Max Potion is really good right now. So we actually don't need to play our computer search, thankfully. So we can either judge or copycat them. I actually don't know. We drew a laser. I'm actually going to play that. If we can put them to sleep, that would be huge. We don't rip. I do think we want to save Judge for Rick anyways. And I think Copycat's the best out. They could end us though, which is a bit of an issue, but I think we just copycat. We get all the we get the best out, which we kind of did. We didn't get another Yamega. We also didn't get a junk arm to get back Super Rod. We didn't even get Max Potion, which is awkward. So we have to just settle for a 70 damage Sonic Boom, which is not ideal. This We do have Rare Candy Magnezone, though, so as long as we don't get end here, we can judge them. We can Rare Candy Magnezone, knock out this Empoleon. If they're playing Max Potion, though, and they find it, though, that's going to be pretty big. Them having Max Potion is hard for us to deal with, too. That's the fair thing about this matchup. So they have Double Driving Draw. They can draw a huge hand. Again, we're going to try to judge it down, though. They could end me to a low hand size, which is what I hope they don't do. Uh, we still have a good amount of supporters left, though, which is fine. But they do judge me to a low hand, and I don't get a judge of my own. There's no way we're going to be able to attack with the Omega. We might have to just go with one energy with a lost burn if we can even get a Rare Candy Magnezone. Zone. If they do end me into a hand that we can not that we can at least get a support out of. So that might have to be our play here, assuming they end me or something. Which I'm predicting they will do. But they are setting up pretty well here. We could try to check out the Dust Snore with Magnezone Zone if we get three energy on it. Or we can get a... No, we can't do Laser Verbank anymore. Maybe we should just use the Verbank? It doesn't matter against Empoleon because we never we can't two shot the Empoleon by hitting it for 70 and playing the laser. It's only good against EXs and other stuff with lower HP, so it can't work against Empoleon. But I guess we could have saved it. We could laser verbank catch her this two energy knock out the dust norm. Knocking out the dust norm would help quite a bit. They have five cards left. I don't think the lover deck out though, obviously, so it doesn't matter. So I think we have to go judge here. We really need to get max potion that's what i'm hoping for is we can get a max potion to heal if we can find our max potion this could be huge they're gonna skyla they could get their own max potion here if they have it okay they get a switch to attack with another empoleon which is fair play that's pretty bad they have 60 hp so we can't linear at any point we can knock out their execute i guess with linear attack okay what's our draw catcher okay let's get the main zone in play Play this. We can take a second Yenma. We can afford to because we're only doing 100. As long as we just don't get two one shot. Do we want to play catcher? I do want to just burn it. So we're going to go for it. Here we go, we're in it with a Judge, and then we can go Magnetic Draw into a Max Potion. No, not there. 
We can junk arm back our super rod. I don't want to get rid of that switch, but I want to keep the, uh, I do want to keep that Professor Oak's new theory around. We'll go for a magnetic draw before we do super rod, of course. And can we get max potion? We do. Nice. All right, we're just going to get rid of this Professor Oak's new theory at this point. Whatever. It is what it is. We have magnetic draw. Oh, shoot. We actually can't play the max potion. No, we can't. We can just uh, play propagation. We can't do super rod. Oh, this is where the execute comes in so clutch. Look at this. We just do this. Sonic Boom. The judge won't do much for us because, of course, they have double diving draw and 10 cards left. But the good news is, is we could attack with the end mega. Oh, they have a catcher of their own. They do, unfortunately, get head. So they can actually take out one of my Yamas here, which is not good. But that still means they don't have damage for Dustnor. And again, we're planning on doing super odd this turn anyway, so it's fine. But their hand might be huge. We might have to go with another lost burn here. Though we are running low on energies to lost burn away. Especially if we prized if we did prize an energy, which I don't know if we did, that can make things a little more awkward too. Alright, I'm assuming they're gonna get super rod back with this, right? Is it gonna be a super rod? Yes it is. As long as their hand is like around seven to six or five cards at the end of their turn, I'll be happy. They do want to bench something here, I'm assuming, so... I'm assuming their hand will be at least five or six cards. Maybe seven. If it's seven, it might be a little bit harder to deal with, especially though we do have our eggs. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll save our junk arms, too, I think, for the max potion spam. Okay, they actually play a Skyla. We'll see what they get here. I'm predicting a level ball. They played three. No, they get a chorus. Ah, oh, shoot. So they could play that next turn, and they'll have a huge chance. So do we have another copycat or judge? We play three judges, two copycats. Yikes. We might not have a way to deal with that. So we might have to start attacking with Magnezone next turn. I guess we could try to junk our Magnezone, not get execute. That's a possibility. Okay, they're playing their hand down. I like to see this. Okay, but they keep it at three cards, which is smart. But three cards is a lot easier to deal with than just two. We can get our hand down to three pretty easily here, I think. Right? So we play this. We play this. I'm gonna get back an energy and two Yenmas, I think. We can do this, get this, and put the egg back in our hand. We could also do another Magnezone here, but we're just gonna we're just gonna take what we have. See, this execute is so good, bro. This execute is actually insane. I think we're in a pretty good spot right now. The only thing we're missing is just more energy for Magnezone, but we're fine. As long as we just can't let this Empoleon one shot me and we have max potion, we should be good. But there is the chorus. Now this is where things are gonna get a little sketch. They get a huge hand. This is where we can't attack them. So we're probably gonna have to go Lost Burn next turn. We'll have to discard one energy. Yeah, they're playing a junk arm though. That does thin their hand down a little bit more. They have three cards left. Are they gonna get back another super rod? It's the only real they could get back catcher actually. I think they're gonna go catcher, maybe try to catch her my Magnezone in the active spot. That could be kind of annoying. Then we'd have to junk arm for switch again, I think. Okay, they get a switch. So they're playing the switch game. They're, instead of healing with max potion, they're gonna constantly switch between the Empoleons. Which is still fine, but that means the Empoleon get knocked out by just one energy loss burn down the road. They're down three junk arms. So maybe they're out of junk arms. Just an attack command. Their hand is also five cards, which is really good for us. So we just have to go magnetic draw for two and then just max potion. And Sonic boom. Just like that. <laughs> just like that. How many junk arms are left? Still have two, right? Oh, we only have one. So we only have one max potion left. That's a little... Uh, a little problematic, but not the end of the world. There's another attack command for 90. There's an energy for Magnezone. So let's do this. We'll junk arm for that max potion. Once again, we just need to play our hand down to five. 
so this magnetic draw. We're low on cards too, actually. We gotta consider that. We don't have our super rod available anymore either. But yeah, this should be pretty much around the end of the game. Let's see what our prize is. Laser, not bad. Yeah, this is, I think, still gonna be a close game. The game is far from over. We don't have any more max potions, which is not good. Not even max potion is a problem. Oh, they have one card left. If they don't have a junk arm left in their deck, we just win by deck out, it looks like, unless they end. They gotta be playing four junk arms, right? They don't play four junk arms? Okay, and that will be game. We'll give them the well played. All right, nice. We keep our, we have an 11 win streak. We get 100 coins, holy crap. We give you more. We have 10,500 coins. Holy jeez, bro. That's nuts. See, like, look at this. I have an 11 win streak because my opponent, I just couldn't get a long game before I got that Napoleon match. That was a pretty good match, though. I think we played that game pretty well. And we didn't even really need the Magnet Zone as much as I thought we would, considering it's, you know, hitting them for weakness. So I'm going to get... I'm going to get two Unleash packs because I want to get more Unleash cards. The reason, by the way, I don't care for going over like the reason i want to have like 20k coins i don't really care for opening up locked packs they're kind of worthless in a nutshell they're not bad but like i only want to get 50 packs so i can do a 50 pack opening video for you guys when rebel clash comes out on the store that's the only reason why i'm holding my things i'm looking for corbat prime Ooh, Kirtra prime that's not a bad card at all it's not that great of a card anymore but it's not bad i'll actually take it maybe we'll do a legacy kingdom deck maybe we'll do like a little throwback deck video i'm looking for reversal dual ball prime cards nope get a rose raid okay not not terrible the kingdom prime is definitely good we actually got an energy returner which is energy recycler but for one less energy um and that's actually not a bad card if you want to play the make mortar shuckle deck uh don't have anything else to open up here so we'll probably just see you guys in one more match with this deck i think all right guys get into another game with our deck here we are going to be playing against a possible dark ride deck okay so Dark Ride, I think, is not too hard to beat. Something like Dark Claw and Verbank Laser, though, could kill my Yemming in one hit, which is not ideal. But I think Dark Ride is not that bad of a matchup for us. So we'll have to see here if we're up against that and how we start. Okay, our hand's, like, bad, but we have Rare Candy. So if we can top deck out of this, we will guarantee in the Magna Zone. All right, yeah, so we, it looks like we are up against a Dark Ride deck here. Our hand is not ideal. There is a Laser... Which means they already get the early damage on. If they get the Verbank, that's really bad. There's a random receiver. The end is good. Because I would much rather be end here than not get end because my hand is not very good. Unfortunately, they can't end me. Okay, no Verbank, which is good. So hopefully we can draw something here. Another Yamma is actually not bad. I'm actually going to retreat so that I don't have to take any more poison damage. So that Yamega at least has above 100 HP. Or has 100 HP instead of 90, so we don't get one shot by Night Spear, if that matters. The nice thing is, they probably have to end me here, which is really, really good. It's really, really good for us. If they have to end me here, that is pretty good. Because our hand is not good, and unless we top deck a Magnezone or a Supporter, even if we do a Judge, it wouldn't help. So this end is perfect, because if we got a Judge, we wouldn't be able to do much with it. We'd have to literally get Yemega Magnezone and Bear Candy off of that to make it work. Okay, we still didn't get much to work with. We have a copycat, we have a judge, we have a level ball. Could have, we have to go Smeargle maybe. I think we have to actually have to get Mr. Mime in place so we don't take extra Night Spear damage. Especially because I do think we want to protect our Magnemite here. Ooh, they have a catcher with a text on the top. Wait, what? Hold on, guys. Let me see if that's... Aretta applied. Oh. I didn't know they did that. I did not know they did that. That's actually kind of cool. Not really, because it kind of makes the card look ugly. Um, Still no Yen Mega. Which is a little awkward. Uh, we can get Mr. Mime or we can get Magneton. I'm actually going to opt to go for Magneton here. I know that's kind of weird, but I'm feeling it. We're just going to pass. All right. Well, wait a turn. That's why I got the Magneton. Um, and plus, I don't think my opponent can attack me. I'm going to go on a limb and say they won't get the attack off. Oh, man. They do have an energy. Oh, you know, maybe we should have got Mr. Mime because they probably can go Night Spear here. We do have a Max Potion, though, so... That's fine. Yeah, maybe they can attack me. See, if we stayed in the active and took a laser damage, they could have taken two prizes on my Yemmas because we didn't get the Yemmega in play. So that's actually really good. So Yemmas, like, this is a very good card, but again, that 50 HP, not so good. So best case scenario, they don't attack me this turn. There's a Juniper. Yeah, that'll definitely get him a Dark Patch. They have to lose a Junk Arm, though, which I actually quite like. 
Yeah, they just need a dark patch and a dark energy here to attack me and knock me out, which is pretty bad. We'll see if they get it. They have an Ultra Ball. That's not a dark patch. They have to get rid of two cards in their hand. Let's take it out of stack mode. They gave him an escape rope. They could have played the escape rope, but they did the dark patch. It looks like they're actually going to opt to go Smeargle here. Uh, which is actually kind of annoying because we actually had a pretty good hand here because we had the Magna Zone. And they're going to laser me again, which is a little awkward too. Okay, portrait. They're definitely taking Judge, obviously, which is actually fine because they have to judge themselves, which I actually don't mind. But it's awkward that we lose this hand. Wait, they copycat? Oh, Okay. I thought they were going to use Judge because we had the Magna Zone, but I guess not. I am fine with that. So we just need to get Yen Mega here and go for there. Go from there. <laughs> get Rare Candy. That's not helping. Okay. I'm just going to Judge him. And then we'll draw two cards and try to draw our hand down low, which we do get. Nice. We actually get a lot of stuff we can do. We can bench the Mr. Mime. Evolve the Yen Mega. And I'm going to do Magnetic Draw first because we already have two cards we can play from our hands. See, big brain plays. I'm playing smart. We could do this. I don't want to put too much energy on a Magna Zone. If they go, they could Dark Call, Laser, Verbank, Catcher this, knock it out, and then I lose a lot of energy. I think I'm going to spread out the energy here. And we're going to take a knockout. We have 100 HP too, so they have to get either a Laser or a Dark Call, Dark Claw to knock me out, which they've only played, they've played, I think, two Lasers so far, which is pretty good for us if they do want to get there. We have the Mime in play too, which is good. And they don't knock me out. Nice. And they kept their hand at four cards, which is good too. So let's see. What, so we want to laser them. Uh, we'll put the energy here. We'll make another draw for two. This is going to be really bad if we don't get two cards we can't play. Okay, we drew an N, but that's not going to help us. We have to just go junk arm here. So if we junk arm away, what would I get though? I guess level ball. Hmm. I think we can get there, but we, okay, we'll get rid of the end. We'll just rely on magnetic draw. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What am I saying? We do have what we need. We didn't get max potion though. So we are going to get knocked out here. Unfortunately, that's fine. We can hit him for 80 with the laser. It would have been nice to get a Verbank there because then they get knocked out going back into my turn. But we can knock him out with a Silver Bangle if we can find it. So that's actually pretty good for us. Plus we have Magnezone Prime ready to go. You can just see how this deck works. Yeah, Mega does the dirty work and then Magnezone comes in and cleans things up. Ooh, they might end me here, which is fine because this hand is not very good at all. And they are going to end me. So this is actually good. So what I'm looking for here is some good stuff we can work with. Another Magnezone would be nice. No, but we do get the computer search, which is perfect. We can get the silver bangle if we can get Yamega. And we can knock out their Dark Ride. They might actually go with a Sableye, though, which would be a good play for them so they can save their Dark Ride from getting knocked out. And it looks like they are going to take that Sableye route unless they happen to get a Dark Patch off and build this up, which they can't do. Oh, they're actually going to get out of the poison. That's fine. As long as we can knock them out here, I think we'll be in a pretty good spot. This Mr. Mime is so helpful. All right, this is looking pretty lit. So we just need to get a Yamega and a Silver Bangle here. That literally couldn't have been the more perfect top deck. Wow, that is actually insane. Where's the Execute? Oh, it's in the discard pile. Duh. All right, let's just get the Yenma, of course. I totally forgot Execute was in the discard already. It's fine, though. It actually works out even better. So we're going to guarantee Bangle here unless we prize both of them, which would actually really suck. But then we'd have to go Verbank Laser. There's the bangle. We'll put energy here and we'll Professor Oak's new theory. Plus we can bangle and knock out Dark Earth Magnezone. So we just need to play one card from our hand. Which will be another bangle. I'll put it on the other Yamma and we'll just knock him out. I get, we should actually no, we should put on Magnezone. I don't know why I did that. It's fine though. Let's take our two prizes here. Then we got a junk arm. I got an Ultra Ball. So we need to work out to getting another Magnezone in play. We don't have a Rare Candy in the discard for Junk Arm. I think, honestly, though, our Saving Grace is going to be Max Potion. As long as they can never one-shot me. As long as they just never get Verbank Laser or a Dark Call, we should be good. Yeah, I predicted they would end me here. So we're going to lose our hand, but the hand was whatever. At least we had a way to get Yamega, but as long as we don't get knocked out here, we should be fine. 
I mean, best case scenario, my opponent goes for a junk hunt. We per oh, well, please don't get heads. Okay, good. Because I was going to say, if they get heads here and they go junk hunt, what we can do is just knock them out. And then we just come in with a Magnezone Prime and knock out their Darkrai with that. So that's actually really good that they did not get heads. So I'm assuming they're going to junk hunt. They're either going to get back Catcher and Random Receiver, or they're going to go Dark Patch Catcher. I think they're going to get the Catcher back for sure. They could get Junk Arm back too, I guess. I think they're going to get back the Catcher. Because they want to be the Catcher of the Magnezone. They see the right on the wall. They know that Magnezone is a target. Okay, so they get Dark Patch and Junk Arm. Okay, this is fine. So let's do this. Go here. Go here. Go here. Unfortunately, we can't play the Junk Arm and the Ultra Ball at the same time. We could... I guess we could do Magnezone. Okay, well, let's just take the Omega. We are going to retreat into the fresh Yen Mega, obviously. I guess we could just do Magnezone, actually. We just need to play one card down from our hand. That's actually better than doing Juniper, because then we have to play two. So we just got to play one card down from our hand, which we do have. Sonic Boom. So yeah, all we, literally all we have to do now is just Lost Burn a Darkrai, and we win the game. And unfortunately, we don't have the Bangle to pull that off. But I'm assuming they're going to laser my Yamega and knock it out anyways with Night Spear. And then we just Junk Arm for Bangle. Lost Burn for the win on the Dark Ride. But yeah, this is the Mega Magnezone deck. Once again, guys, it is a very powerful deck. Let's see if my opponent can prevent me from winning this turn. Like, they would have to go Dark Claw, Dark Claw, Catcher Heads, and a Laser on my uh, Magnezone. But they're just going to knock out my Yamega, which means we win the game here by just going Junk Arm for Silver Bangle. We could also go laser instead of playing Silver Bangle too, so there's nothing my opponent can do. That will indeed be game against my opponent's Darkrai deck. Seem to be playing against this deck a lot. Actually, I recognize that name. He might have been in the, uh, I think he was in the uh, Truth video I uploaded. So we just bring in the Magnezone Prime. And we just get back laser or Junk Arm. Either or, it doesn't matter. But yeah, that will be it for the video on the uh, Mega Magnezone deck. It is a very powerful deck, and if you guys can afford to build this deck, uh, definitely give it a try because once again guys it is a very strong and very powerful deck It's very fun to play too because you're using prime Pokemon and prime Pokemon are awesome Like literally who does not like using prime Pokemon? But yeah, that'll be it 150 damage With the laser bye bye Darkrai and that will be game Plus we had the other Magnemite ready to go too So like there's just not much my opponent get done there But yeah, that'll be it for the video guys on the deck if you enjoyed it leave a like we completed the entire daily rewards from yesterday all in one video that is actually hilarious um i did lose my win streak because i did get donked by a by a hypnotoxic laser because i started with execute um but yeah that'll wrap up the video guys on the deck if you enjoyed drop a like on the video guys if you enjoyed it the legacy content i provided before real clash came out drop a like on the video and uh i will definitely return to making legacy videos guys when of course rebel clash's hype kind of fades away rebel clash having twin energy though really does make for a lot of fun decks to play uh and i might do a legacy video here or there and I'm, I might play some legacy matches when I do live stream the Limitless Qualifier 1 possibly. Or the Limitless Qualifier 2 if I do stream then I might play Stack again. Or I might, yeah, I might play Stack again or something. Actually, I gotta return the Magnezones. I borrowed these from my friend Outcast, but... Yeah, this is the Mega Mega Magnezone deck. Very powerful deck. Any changes I would make to it would be maybe just add more energy. Other than that, the deck played pretty well for us. So yeah, thanks for watching the video guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe down below. Help me in the region. AK subs. If we can if we can reach AK subs by Friday, I will give a, a reverse hollow Jirachi. Um, yeah, follow me on Twitter down below too if you haven't already, and bye-bye.